Hello students, welcome to the video lecture series in radiation physics, radiation source of electrons. The most common source of fast electrons in radiation measurements is negative beta decay. Here, a parent nucleus X is transformed to a daughter nucleus Y with the emission of electrons and an antineutrino. Neutrinos and antineutrinos have extremely small interaction probability with matter. So they are undetectable for all practical purposes. The recoil nucleus has very small recoil energy and therefore it cannot be detected easily by conventional means. Hence, the only significant ionizing radiation produced by beta decay is the fast electrons. Each specific beta decay transition is characterized by a fixed decay energy value or Q value. Because the energy of the recoil nucleus is virtually zero, this energy is shared between the beta particle and the neutrino. Therefore, the spectrum of beta decay electrons is continuous. This figure shows the energy spectrum of beta decay electrons from bismuth. The beta particles can have energy up to a maximum denoted by Emax. The spectrum of energies carried off by the antineutrino can be inferred from the beta particle energy spectrum. This shows the relative probability that a beta particle will carry off a specific fraction of Emax for a large number of random decay events. Most nucleides produced by neutron bombardment of stable materials are beta active. Therefore, large number of beta emitters are readily available in a reactor. Another source of fast electrons is internal conversion. An excited nucleus may return to its ground state by giving up its excitation energy to orbital electrons. The emitted electron has a kinetic energy equal to the lost nuclear excitation energy minus the binding energy of electron in the atom. That is, the kinetic energy of this electron is equal to EEX minus EB, where EEX is the nuclear excitation energy and EB is the binding energy in the original electron shell. Such electrons are called as conversion electrons that are the only practical laboratory scale source of monoenergetic electron groups in the high kilo electron volt to mega electron volt energy range. The energy of the ejected electrons has discrete values and therefore the corresponding beta particle energy spectrum is a line spectrum. Because the conversion electron can originate from any one of a number of different electron shells within the atom like the K shell, L shell or the M shell, a single nuclear excitation level generally leads to several groups of electrons with different energies. The spectrum becomes more complicated in those cases in which more than one excited state 
within the nucleus is converted. Auger electrons. An inner shell vacancy caused by electron capture is filled by an electron from outer shell. This can lead to emission of a characteristic X-ray or ejection of one of the outer electrons called auger electron. An auger electron appears with an energy given by the difference between the original atomic excitation energy and the binding energy of the shell from which the electron was ejected. Thus, auger electrons produce a discrete energy spectrum. Auger electrons have few kilo electron volt energy as they are favored only in lighter elements for which the electron binding energies are small.